Article 18, the Nidbala land. Motion that the town authorize the select board to acquire by purchase, gift, and or eminent domain on such terms and conditions as the board deems appropriate an agricultural preservation restriction on all or portions of the three parcel of lands containing approximately 8.4 acres on the land located off Cemetery Road shown on assessor's map 4G as parcel 22, 36, and 48 and for the described in the deeds recorded in the Hampshire County Register of Deeds book, 2,379, page 68, and, page, and book 2,256, page 102, and further to appropriate $14,300 for the Community Preservation Act general funds for the foregoing acquisition and costs related thereto. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motioned and seconded. Again, the CPA committee voted by a vote of six yes, zero no, and there were three people missing. Thank you. Mr. West would like you to use the word absent, not missing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Selectman West. Again, this is uh, Paul Alexander for conservation. Uh, these are three nice parcels on Cemetery Road. Um, it's a very historic area. Uh, used for agriculture, and uh, we would like you to protect it. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you to the Ned Ballas. Allard Land. Move that the town authorize the select board to acquire by gift, by purchase gift and or eminent domain on such terms and conditions as the board deems appropriate, an agricultural preservation restriction on all or portions of the parcels of land containing approximately 135 acres in total, located off Mill Valley Road and South Maple Street, as shown on assessor's map 10A and parcels 2-2, through 2-11 inclusive, and 2-19 through 2-71 inclusive, and associated roadways and which lands is described and deed recorded in Hampshire County Register of Deeds Book 948, page 507, as shown on plan book 225, page 32, and further to appropriate $230,000 from the Community Preservation General Funds for the foregoing acquisition and costs related thereto. Do I have a motion? So moved. And a second. second. Motion in and seconded. Anybody want to speak to this one, please? I think I'm just repeating myself, but there were the vote by the Community Preservation Act Committee was seven yes, zero no, and there were two absences. Go ahead, Paul. Uh, Paul Alexander from the Conservation Commission. This is a very large parcel of land, uh, 135 acres. Um, it's on the Fort River. Um, it's very scenic. It's been in agriculture for many, many years. Um, it helps protect rare species along the Fort River. Um, and it has been approved for a 64 lot subdivision. So by preserving this in agriculture, we will be saving money for the town in the long run rather than having houses. Thank you. Do you have any feelings that you may have stolen the thunder from Selectman West? <laughs> <laughs> that was the point that Selectman West wanted to make as well. There's a very large parcel and it was permitted for houses already. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Thank you very much to the Allard Farms. Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Article 20, CPA Library. Move that the town authorize trustees of Goodlin, Goodwin Memorial Library to apply for, accept, and expend any state grants which may be available for the feasibility study for the current and future needs of Goodwin Memorial Library and a future vote of approx of a, to appropriate $25,000 from the Community Preservation Act general funds for the preservation and or rehabilitation of the historical Goodwin Memorial Library specifically to fund the feasibility study thereto, such funds to be granted by the trustees of Hopkins to 
the trustees of Hot Goodwin Memorial Library pursuant to a grant agreement entered into by the select board and the grant of such funds enabling the trustees to apply for matching state grants funds for the library planning and design grant. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. For the record, uh, the CPA committee voted seven yes, zero no, and two absences. Joanne Knutsny, Vice Chair, Goodwin Memorial Library Trustees. This grant looks at building program, library services first, before determining space needs. Previous studies done have looked at building first. It will allow us to evaluate current and future library services, match those service possibilities with the needs and desires of the community, and determine the optimum space and square footage and configuration for providing those services. This is a matching grant. The town has to vote in favor of matching the funds in order for us to be even considered for this grant. The grant is for up to $25,000, so it would be a total of $50,000 if you count the match. We may not need all $25,000. In order for us to apply for library building grants, we need to have a design plan. We can either pay for it completely with town funds or go for this matching grant opportunity. The study is consistent with the long range plan the building committee is engaging in. The trustees have met with the building committee and discussed this grant as well as our capital request for the library building on the budget. Thank you. Thank you as well. Further discussions? Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I think it's worth noting for all of these CPA requests that this is not actually tax money. It's a real estate fee that is collected at the time the property is transferred, if I'm not mistaken. Any further discussion? I think one thing, though, to, to do point out is the fact that, as we had heard, there was a matching grant last year of 100% of what was, what was put in by the town of Hadley was matched by the state. We are now matching a second time by the 25000 being matched in the appeal for a state matching grant. So we have money making money. Further discussion? Hearing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Number 22. We're getting there, folks. 21. 21. 21. Nice try. CPA Library 2. Move that the town appropriate $85,000 for the Community Preservation General Fund for the preservation and or rehabilitation of the, of the historic Goodwin Memorial Library, specifically to fund the lighting and electrical work in the ceiling restoration. Which funds have been, which, which funds are to be granted to the trustees of Goodwin Memorial Library pursuant to a grant agreement between the select board and said trustees? Anybody from the CPA speak to this article, please? So moved. It's, is there a second? Second. Motion in and seconded. Further discussion? For the record, uh, seven, well, the CPA committee voted seven yes, zero no, and we had two absences. Thank you. My name is Noel Kurtz, Algonquin Drive, and I'm a library trustee. Um, the Goodman Memorial Library ceiling is an old plaster ceiling, and it needs to be replaced. It didn't make sense to us to just replace the ceiling when under that uh, old ceiling, is knob and tube wiring, and we'd like to update the lighting at the same time. So this money is to upgrade the wiring and to replace the lights with uh, LED lighting. As we're reconfiguring the first floor of the library, we will put this together as a package. We will um, put in a new circulation desk, and we will change both the ceiling and the wiring at the same time. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. 
All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article 22, move that the town appropriate and transfer $25,000 from the Community Preservation Historical Set-Aside Funds for the preservation and or historical and the rehabilitation of the historic North Hadley Hall, Village Hall, as recommended by the Historic Buildings Preservation Plan and the Historic Russell School Building, as recommended by the historic Hadley Historical Building Preservation Plan. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion and seconded. Again, the Finance Committee recommends four, four and zero against, and the Select Board recommends five, four. Someone able to speak to the article? And the CPA voted, oops, wrong one, uh, seven yes, zero no, and two absences. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ginger Goldsberry, Chair of the Hadley Historical Commission. Um, last year, we hired the Old Mohawk Masonry and Historic Restoration, Inc. to do a survey of um, three historic buildings in town, just the exteriors. They made a recommendation for some work to be done. Um, they gave us a phased implementation of recommendations and with, a, with priority listings. So they listed two projects having immediate needs and they were the ones we're asking money for. In North Hadley Village Hall, um, they recommended a probe of possible foundation structural issues. It would mean to remove and reinstall foundation capstones for review and consult with a structural engineer. The estimated cost was $6,600. And at the Russell School, they recommended the installation of telltale gauges at locations identified in the drawings, which I don't have here, um, to check for foundation movement, installation of temporary supports for the west porch roof, and repair storm windows to protect woodwork for, from further damage. The estimated cost of that was $10,518. And we've asked, it for, asked for 25000 which was what we had left in our set-aside, because these um, estimates could be lower than they would cost now. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Waiting on you. I'm Randall Broders. I live at 11 Mount Warner. And I think some of these historic buildings, as time goes on, I think they ought to be sold where there be money coming in because as time goes on, to replace this thing, it's going to cost quite a bit more because the cost of labor has gone up. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dave Wiskevitz, Buildings Committee. Um, Ginger came to us at one of our meetings and discussed what they're planning on doing with the money that we're voting on tonight. And we had mentioned, or I had mentioned, that um, we would not support it, or I would not support it, because it goes against what we're trying to do right now. Um, we didn't see the foundation work as being immediate, but we had other needs in that building. Um, we have a cupola that's allowing the pigeons to go back in it again, which is a problem, and we need money for that. And also, uh, there are some areas on the gable wall that are open that there's rodents that can come in. It's, it's a big open gap that we're concerned about the building for those reasons. That needs to be addressed immediately, and that's something that we did discuss with her, and we had asked that they perhaps reconsider and or withdraw tonight. So. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a, motion, a vote on the motion. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. Simple. All those opposed? Counters, please.
Peter wouldn't get it here. Okay, is everybody inside now that needs to be counted? Okay. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards. Keep them up just for a little while longer, folks. Cards up, please. Yes, sir. Doubt? No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all set? You're all set? Everybody take tomorrow off from aerobics. <laughs> you guys agree? 37. All those opposed, raise your hand.
And the results are in. Motion passes 105 to 97. Thank you, counters. Thanks for raising your hands, ladies and gentlemen.